There's a chair back here somewhere. Here it is. Oh. Hey, this will be neat. Watch this. Oh no. What a mess I've made. Yeah, buddy. Man, it's happening. It's happening. It's gonna happen. A week from tomorrow, opening day at Target Center. Timberwolves and Kings. Between then and now, my first meeting uh, as part of the Timberwolves Fan Advisory Committee. That's Monday. Wow, so much happening. So much so much to come. As October winds up and we get closer and closer to election day. The funnest night of the biennium. Because every two years is lots of fun. <sighs> Hello, it's Thursday. It is six oh seven PM because I finally got to sleep in and arrive late. So I have to leave late. It's 39 degrees. Didn't hit 40, did it? It hit 40. Well, today's high was 48. That was at midnight. Temperatures have plummeted. By the time I woke up, it was 36 outside. And for part of today, the rain turned to snow. Real, real snow. Which didn't stick and didn't accumulate. And if you went out there now, you wouldn't notice that it had snowed. Thank goodness, because the first real snow of the year... People drive like idiots. Traffic's moving pretty good right now, though. It's not even really too wet. Because it's been so dry that this thing's kind of blah, 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 evaporated. I need to shave. The end of November will bring the... The end of October will bring the beginning of November. And although I will not raise money, I will be growing a mustache. Not this mustache, but an entirely different mustache which will end up looking just like this one. Hmm. I didn't think that through very well. I'll probably shave this weekend to be like my base for the real shaving to come November 1st. I went to the grocery store last night. I bought a giant bag of candy. So just in case we have children appearing at the front door, they will not trash my porch because they will receive candy. That's the bargain. I give you candy, you leave my porch alone. We hope. I also had yogurt. So you can tell, the yogurt tweets come back after I hit the grocery store. The food libraries. A Metalocalypse reference that someone didn't get and responded to, and I didn't respond back. Oh well. Hey, Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse. Uh, Season 4 is coming out Tuesday, isn't it? I haven't started on DVDs, so I don't remember that completely. Uh, where are we? Where are we, Adult Swim? Mm-hmm. Metalocalypse, Season 4. I wonder if we've bought it. It's now at the point where Kim has had a job long enough that she has money to buy DVDs, so I can no longer buy DVDs, assuming she won't buy them. Hey, have you bought this? She actually bought Amazon Prime. Can you believe that? And she didn't tell me. So here she is getting her free two-day shipping, and I'm just the sucker who gives uh, the W referral fees. It evens out. I actually bought physical CDs. This is important, but... On Facebook, uh, it was announced by... Pete Burns of Naked Eyes, the very first Naked Eyes album, 
which actually had a different configuration, slightly different, in the UK than it did in America. In America, it was called Naked Eyes. Makes sense. Uh, in the UK, it was called Burning Bridges, and it had a B-side and another extra track. So it was like two tracks longer. And yet, same record. Hmm. Anyway, never released on CD in the UK, and only took them 29, practically 30 years to get it on CD. But it will be coming out on CD in November. And even though I have all of those tracks on various other CDs that have come out in America, got to have it, man. It's awesome. It's going to have new liner notes. So that's why you buy CDs, to read the liner notes, to hold it in your hand. Who am I? Vince McMahon. In my hand. problem is once you find out a CD exists, you hop on Amazon and you buy it, and then you find out that five or six other CDs exist that you didn't know about, and you have to buy all of them as well. So by the time it was over, I spent about 120 bucks on CDs, almost all of which were CDs which were basically new compilations of material from bands I already probably had everything they listed, although not necessarily on CD. So it's a lot of a lot of ZTT stuff. So like a lot of uh, Frankie. Is there really any Frankie left that hasn't been released on CD? I don't know. Same with Propaganda. But it wasn't a Propaganda collection. It was a Claudia Bruken collection, which happened to include a lot of Propaganda. Uh, there was another... Uh, what else did I get? I don't know. That's the thing. By the time it actually arrives, I will have forgotten ordering it because it's got to come from the UK, so it'll take a couple weeks. And then I'll be surprised. And I'll be like, oh yeah, remember I ordered that? Speaking of things arriving in the P.O. box, look at this. Look at this. It's from Lake Mary, Florida. You know what that means. It's from Flea. Also, my comb just fell on the ground. I hope you didn't hear that. What do you suppose is in here? I actually know what's in here because he told me ahead of time he was getting it for me. Yep. It's exactly what I thought it is. It's one of these. I'll tell you what it really is tomorrow when you see me wearing it. I finally finished them. They were kind of slightly addicting. Not addicting enough for me to actually go to Target and buy another one. Although, it may happen. i got a week left. Do you think they've sold out? They were limited edition. Let's get to Pie Man's comments before I waste all my time as I have been doing all week. Um, internet is so speedy tonight. I wonder how long it's going to take me to upload this thing. I really got to get home by 7. I really got to try to avoid all those Vikings fans. Ugh. National game tonight on NFL Network. And I believe it's airing locally. Oh, what's going on? Somebody's farting around on our page again. I believe it's airing locally on our NBC affiliate, which means I won't get to see any of the shows I actually want to watch because they'll be preempted by football, and they will re-air at like 3 in the morning or something. So I'll probably just try to catch them on demand. I think NBC is still doing that. All right, we're finally up. Uh... Uh... Oh, Pie Man edited an old one after I'd read it and didn't realize it. All right. So, my son has the same Pokemon poster in his room as well. I think it was Sapphire. Take your word for it. When you did the camera scan of your office, I wondered how the heck do you get out of there? Is there a path to a door somewhere that we can't see? You might want to watch Hoarders to make sure you don't appear on the show someday. Well, I'll have you know, all those boxes are out of the office, and it's actually looking quite spacious. So we'll do a slow sweep. Look, the boxes are not there anymore. In fact, I'm almost out of soda. But the door is in the other corner. So we're going to move around. Here we go. There's a corner. There's my big whiteboard. There's the door. And there's the way out. And if we continue, I don't know if this will make it all the way around. It did sort of like that. Now it's all twisted up. Oh, and now it doesn't want to stay there. So we better untwist it. Alright. So... I hope that answers your question. And this is what it looks like when it falls. That's kind of neat. So I hope that that at least uh, gives you a resolution to 
What's going on? Uh-oh, 10 minutes is up. I'm going to continue. Bonus extension. I was a little short last night, so we'll make up for it tonight. Uh, as for running for office, you should do it. I've been on the budget committee for our town as an elected position for nine years now. You should aspire to higher than that, though. Okay, I'll run for mayor next year. Don't tell my wife. Flea says, if Semantic ever hits 19, sell like Kurt Hennig. It hit 19 today, but as I said, I slept in. It also was 1943 after hours. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll give it a week to settle. I have a feeling it's going to settle about 18, but we'll see. Uh, do, 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 do. I think my 15-year-old son might grow up to be you. In addition to the Pokemon poster, this is another comment from Greg, he also owns and wears the purple Kool-Aid Man shirt, too. Which caused Doug to say, biting my tongue really, really hard right now. I'm not sure what that means. Is he saying something bad about me or about your son? Or about both of us? Stop speaking in riddles, man. All right, that takes care of the W. Uh, if anyone said anything at any other place, I haven't found it. Kevin might have said something on Google+. Plus. He, I tend to answer him on Google+, Plus too. It's the only Google+, Plus stuff I really do, other than trying to catch up on uh, auto-syncing photos from my phone to the Internet, which is one thing Google's good at. Time's up. Let's close out the week tomorrow, shall we? Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.